what I've done so far is I, um, I removed the spray hose from underneath the faucet um, <clears throat> and uh, placed it underneath there because I don't have a cap to close off the hole at the bottom of the um, of the main faucet. Uh, yeah, that's going to stay there at the back. So the next step for me is to uh, drill a hole here um, so that the reverse osmosis filter has a, a way to drain uh, the wastewater. And, uh, and then also I will attach the adapter to the cold water supply. I uh, drilled a little hole in the wall on the back and uh, screwed in that little hook so that uh, I can hang the spray hose. I use the zip tie to tie the hose to the hook. So that was step one. Step two was um, removing uh, the cold water hose here. It took a really long time because it was uh, hard to access the uh, nut. And now I, so I removed that. Then I installed the uh, uh, adapter with the needle valve. Um, for the needle valve, that's something I had to do uh, twice because I uh, had only wrapped the tape around, the plumber's tape around three or four times, but now I did it, uh, I believe, seven times. Uh, seems to me like everything is pretty tight, but I guess I'll <clears throat> see, I'll know for sure when I open this up. All right, now I have uh, attached the red tubing and tightened it as uh, hard as I could. I don't have a uh, wrench, so that kind of makes things a little difficult. But uh, so, yeah, I'm using pliers instead, but yeah, it gets the job done. So, yeah, gonna turn on the water actually and see if it uh, um, leaks anywhere. Okay, let's see. Yep, I don't see a single drop. Water. All right, so now I'm going to install the drain saddle. Um, which is right here. Um, I've already inserted the nuts on the uh, back end of the saddle. Um, I'm going to apply this uh, foam thingy. Um, <clears throat> Unfortunately, I have to do it in the metal part. Um, that's the only place, literally the only place I can install it because it's the only place that's higher than the uh, P trap. Um, so I already applied some, I guess you could call it masking tape, although it's just scotch tape, and uh, uh, mark the hole where I'm going to drill. Alright, what seemed to work was just going savage. <laughs> Just took the knife and kind of expanded the hole a little bit. So now I was able to fit in the 3 sixteenths uh, drill bit. Uh, so I'll see if I can install the, uh, I can now um, drill with a cord wrench, which is the size the hole is supposed to be. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that the area is nice and clean. I've applied some rubbing alcohol to this piece of tissue. All right, so now we're gonna apply the foam thingy. Okay. 
now. All that's left to do is apply. Take. Uh, yeah. Put the drain sound. Just tighten it with the ratchet screwdriver. All right, seems pretty tight. And I've, I also know that this thing is aligned with the hole I made just now. So I can insert this all the way through, no problem. Next step is the mounting of the faucet. All right, now the RO faucet has been installed. It's of course not running yet, but it seems pretty stable. And it also looks nice, right? Kind of matchy, matchy. Um, so, and in terms of what's underneath, um, so yeah, we have the red tube, uh, that's going to, um, connect to the, uh, filters, I think, I don't know exactly, um, and then, of course, this is going to, um, this, uh, white tube is going to deliver purified water. All right, so this is the filter itself, um, or I should say the top of the filter, I have no idea what any of these do, but it was like the premium version, so I got that. And here are the filters. Um, this is what the system looks like um, when it's complete. Here we have the tank. I've already mounted the uh, uh, whatever you call this thing, male to female. Um, and we're going to put it over there. Uh, here I already have the system in place. I didn't attach it to the wall because frankly, it's just not necessary. Um, but you know, if I get annoyed, next time I have to change the filters, I'm gonna do that. So I made sure that these are nice and tight. The feed water comes in through here. This is where it goes through the faucet. This is the wastewater. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna place the tank over there. All right, so now everything is in place. I <clears throat> place the tank over there, uh, use the yellow tubing to connect it to uh, the proper uh, filter over there. Um, so yeah, these are stages one, two, three. And then I think this is four, five, and this is six, um, the last stage before it um, goes to the faucet over there. So now all that's left to do is open the, um, the valve, the needle valve at the back there, um, then open this tank, uh, tank valve, and uh, let it fill for two to three hours. Uh, at which point I will, I guess, drain the whole thing by opening that faucet over there uh, and then fill it up again. So I'm not going to drink the first, uh, first tank. Oh, and there's a leak. All right, let's close it up. All right, the first sediment filter was a little bit loose, so I tightened it up, opened the needle valve up again and it seems to be flowing just fine. I think it, I heard the water um, drop into the second filter, so no leaks so far. So it's been three hours now since I uh, finished installing the filter. Um, and what I'll do now, so I'll check for leaks one more time and it seems like there aren't any. very good so I'll just now open the faucet and uh, empty the tank it's gonna be dirty the first uh, tank so I'm not gonna drink that so oh, 
very loud. Should probably take about, yeah, it's kind of a little muddy. Should take about <clears throat> three to five minutes to empty the tank fully, and then I'll refill it again. It takes about two to three hours. And then, then it'll be ready to drink. So I'll probably no longer need this thing over here.